Thank you, everybody. My name's Pete Clark. Um, I've taken this up this topic because I just finished writing a textbook, and uh, I decided that it was going to be metric throughout. And that led to some wars with the publisher. <laughs> it's, uh, okay. um, so why is the US not metric? The answer is the US is metric. We're just in denial about it. <laughs> so the International System of Units, or the System International, is um, pretty much uniformly used. It's been in practical use in the US since the 19th century. Uh, 1866, we have the Mendel Act, which, um, in which Congress approved the use of metric units. Uh, and it was made the basis for measuring all other weights and measures in 1893, which means the foot and the yard are defined in terms of their metric distance. <laughs> Uh, Thomas Jefferson, who pioneered the public land survey in the United States and gave us the section and the township and so on, um, was very upset by the fact that they ended up having to use British imperial units because he wanted to base the entire system uh, on the metric system. Um, metrification of US maps and cartographic point of view took place in, uh, uh, after MAD 83, the, the new Earth model, WGS 84. Um, and the national grids and systems that we use and print on all of our maps, including the current day um, United States Public Land Survey system, are all metric. And even our own Bureau of Standards uh, adopted the metric system in uh, 1964. Here's a map of all the countries in the world that do not comply with the SI. <laughs> Notice that the United States is joined by Myanmar and uh, Liberia, two uh, well known democracies. <laughs> um, the recent history has been rather dismal in terms of uh, what was originally the U.S. metric board, which was formed to um, convert the U.S. to a metric system. Uh, during the 70s and 80s, we actually had little television infomercials and slogans and so on about thinking metric and eventually converting in the U.S. Um, when Ronald Reagan became president in 1982, uh, he disbanded the metric board and it's never been refounded. And I've, I've taken up this uh, challenge to get the metric board re-established in McKean, Washington. Um, so we've had deliberate stalls of, uh, of conversion from the 1980s to today. Uh, this is a famous metric highway in, um, in uh, Arizona, where there are indeed US road signs with metric uh, distances on them. Uh, meanwhile, the military has converted pretty much exclusively because it needs to cooperate with NATO countries that are metric. So if you ask anybody in the armed services what, what a distance is, they'll tell you meters. And of course, um, most goods, services, activities, and so on are, are entirely metric. So what can we do ourselves uh, to, to write this? We can reestablish the US metric board and begin the process of conversion effectively. Um, we can reinstate the importance. We can remove the absurdities. And I'll just show you one before I finish. Uh, show you it right now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, here, this is a topographic quadrangle from Five Mile Gulch in, in the Nevada Idaho border. And you'll notice what's happened here. Uh, I'm talking about this distance. This is a distance in feet that was required to be converted to meters. So they chose metric ranges outside the largest range in feet, so they never confused the two. And now they have to report it in meters. So that distance is actually 23% uh, of the circumference of the Earth. <laughs> <laughs>